Tuesday night in Pittsburgh, Boston forward Chris Wagner slew-footed Pittsburgh defenseman Marcus Pedersen. As the video shows, Wagner and Pedersen were engaged in a race to the corner for the puck. Both players are in good body position with low posture and wide stance, braced for legal contact. Wagner then takes his left leg and drives it through the back of Pedersen's right leg using a forceful, intentional motion. At the same time, he uses his left arm to force Pedersen's upper body backward. This is a slew foot. Wagner's actions made Pedersen completely vulnerable and unable to protect himself from dangerous and violent contact with the boards and the ice. Also, his left skate was hopelessly dug into the ice, and his leg was unable to rotate with the rest of his body, leaving him susceptible to any number of leg injuries. While I recognize this move was done for a hockey purpose, to win a positional battle during a race for the puck, a slew foot isn't an acceptable hockey tactic for any purpose, hockey or otherwise. It has no place in the game. That elevates this to a play that has nothing to do with hockey and into the 6-10 to 10 game suspension range. On top of this incident, it's also important to take player history and habits into consideration, including but not limited to any supplemental discipline already handed out. Under the tough call system, Wagner this season alone would have already received one fine and three suspensions, with three of those four punishments being for dangerous trips and a slew foot. This is a player who over the course of a very short period of time has demonstrated a habit of often careless and sometimes dangerous use of his feet. In summary, this is slew footing. It has no place in the game. Wagner has a significant supplemental discipline history with multiple repeat offenses for similar plays. Tough Call would have no choice but to suspend Chris Wagner for the remainder of the 2021 regular season and playoffs.